so um, like a question like this one, this is just the um, uh, um, practice for translating what's said in English language here into mathematical expression. So um, it's uh, giving you the amplitude. So the amplitude is 12 volts and uh, the volts is already here and a frequency of 260 Hertz. So, um, so when you look at the section, you will see the, the standard form for, um, for AC voltage source. And uh, I think, which is basically this. <laughs> and I wrote this question specifically so that uh, this form would just be the answer. That's why Hint is saying optional consideration because for this, you have to use cosine. But um, well, yeah, it, it could cosine. And um, uh, oh, I want to try one thing, which is yeah. So um, so the uh, what it, it should accept as a correct answer is twelve sine of um, so this should be two pi times the frequency two sixty hertz times t. Um, yeah, T for time in seconds. One thing I'm curious is if we would accept this as correct answer, because it's technically, I think it satisfies everything. Uh, yeah, I, I should have fixed that. I'll, I'll fix that. Because uh, I think this with the minus sign, it uh, yeah, satisfies everything. Amplitude 12 volts, frequency of that, and that time equals zero, you know, negative of zero is still zero. So uh, so I'll, I'll uh, go in and fix that after the session. <laughs> so um, uh, questions two and three are, um, it's more or less a reading question for this, which is your textbook gives you the uh, expression for the impedance of capacitor and inductor. So I'm gonna use absolute value sign <laughs> because I use complex impedance and with the absolute value sign, both the textbook and I, and I would give you the same expression. So the absolute value of the impedance of capacitor, which your textbook labels as XC, uh, that's a one over omega C. And um, for question three, the absolute value of impedance of inductor, which your textbook will label as XL, it's uh, gonna be omega L. And the only thing to really watch out for is uh, distinguishing between angular frequency and frequency. So um, a lot of the formulas dealing with oscillatory phenomena are stated in terms of angular frequency because it makes formulas simpler. You avoid writing down unnecessary two pi's. But uh, we like to refer to frequency, um, re refer to actual um, how quickly is something is oscillating in terms of the frequency. And so you have to always remember that omega is two pi times the frequency. And this two pi is basically converting from hertz or cycles per second to, um, to omega, which will be, which should be in units of radians per second. So, um, so just watch out for that. Um, and with that, uh, this should be relatively simple um, number plugging in question for um, two and three. Um, it's a, so yeah, reactance of inductor. So to watch out for the prefixes and all that usual stuff.